Now that you've added the different details, the details that got lost during your underpainting, now it's time to start adding values to make the drapery look more realistic. Now choose one color section and start to add different values. The darkest value will be the color itself, the color that you use to color the underpainting. That's called the hue. And in Byzantine icons, we don't add black because black symbolizes evil. And so we're not really gonna use black to make the colors darker. What we'll be doing is adding the darkest paint for the darkest shadows and then gradually adding white to make lighter values, which are called tints. So starting with the darkest value, you can go ahead and just, just paint a color section with some of that darkest value. The reason I'm adding this even though I already did is because it dried a little bit and I want a nice, a nice wet surface so when I start adding the lighter tints it has, it has wet paint that I can blend it in with. And this is how most acrylic painters paint. They'll paint from dark to light. So now I've colored this, this color section with the darkest, the darkest dark, the hue. So now I'm just gonna dip my paintbrush, clean it off a little bit, and now I can start adding the tints. I'm using a very small paintbrush so that I can get a little bit more detailed with it. You can just blend in that tint right into the dark paint. You can always add a little bit more dark paint if it helps to blend it in more. Now if you're doing Mother of Perpetual Help, the thing with this, part, this particular icon is that there's very little difference between dark and, dark and light in, in the blue part of Mary's cloak. But there is a little bit of difference here and there. So you can add some, some lighter values, but for the majority of the blue garment, you'll probably just be adding another layer of blue to make it darker. And maybe a little bit of lighter tint